Dr. Falkenrath, I need a primer on NATO. Does NATO still have teeth? Well, NATO still does have an integrated military command structure. It has a lot of forces under arms. Uh, four NATO countries border uh, Ukraine, three more border Russia, the three Baltic states. And so, yes, it does have teeth. Whether they'll ever be used in any serious way in a military conflict with Russia, I seriously doubt. We are part of NATO. The secretary will fly, I believe, is it right, Scarlett, to Kiev today? Yep. yep. To Kiev, what would you suggest is his priority list? What's the first function he will do? He's going to try to shore up the new Ukrainian government and will have some sort of offer of near-term fiscal assistance uh, for the Ukrainian government. Since they have, a, they have an immediate uh, fiscal crisis on their hands they're going to need to deal with. So I think they'll try to put that together. He'll try to show, show solidarity with them against what he will describe as a Russian menace uh, and hopefully just sort of stiffen their spine a bit. Would he go to the Crimea to meet with Russians or to Moscow? Uh, well, he, he definitely will not go to the Crimea. I think that's not possible to be too provocative. Russia, uh, I doubt it. I mean, they really, the symbolism of a high level visit like that right. uh, with Russia, too risky for the Obama right. administration. What kind of leverage does the U.S. have here? Modest. I mean, this yeah. is not extensive leverage. I mean, if we're talking what about economic use, sanctions. Economic sanctions are an option, but they are they are they are self-inflicted wounds as well. I mean, if you sanction the Russian oil exports to, for instance, Europe, it's going to hurt the Europeans as well. They will look at visa, visa restrictions on a couple of Russian officials. They may look at asset freezes. But Russia is a really big economy. It's not like some of the other countries that have been effectively targeted by sanctions from a uh, sort of analytic perspective. Very little reason to believe a sanction strategy will work to coerce the Russians at this point. And, and I heard I was, that, Corey, all through the weekend. Oh, I I mean, was, everybody agreeing with Dr. Falkenrath. I was shocked to see the statement that came out talking about Russia's participation in the G7. G8's gone, G7, <laughs> just like that? Yeah, and G5? I mean, I mean they throw the Russians out, it will go down. They weren't always there. They were added after the end of the Cold right. War. Have they just been subtracted? Uh, uh, they may be. I mean, the Sochi meeting, it's very difficult to see how that will happen. But even there, at times of international crisis is really when you want governments talking. And it suggests as though this issue is more important than any other issue on the international stage, Iran or Syria or China or the global economy. And to suddenly say, here's a really important country, Russia, a member of the Security Council, we're not going to have meetings with you anymore because we're ticked off at what you're doing uh, it, it not totally sensible I, I, we now folks we go to the surveillance geography lesson of the moment the Straits of Kerch Ryan Chilcote reporting out of London Mr. Medvedev says a bridge will be built should we cue Alec Guinness and the bridge over the River Kwai? What is this? Uh, well, okay, so the, these straits connect the Black Sea to the Sea of Azov. Over there on the red, on the eastern side of the red, That's it's that Indiana. little, it looks like Martha's Vineyard in Cape Cod, but so, it's not, is so it? It's the, different. The, uh, currently, the only land bridge onto Crimea runs through Ukraine. It's called, it's called the Isthmus of Perikop. used to be a Geno You're Genovesian colony. There is another strait, however, on the far eastern side that's about four kilometers kilometers from what is part of Russia. The first person to conceive a bridge across that, sp that strait was Albert Speer, architect to the Third Reich, For who Hitler. thought of it Breaks as a way to use to march the Wehrmacht into Persia. To go the other way. And they actually right. began <clears throat> construction in 1943. The materials were left behind in 44, and the Red Army built the bridge in 1944. It was destroyed that winter by ice flows. So the idea has been around before. Uh, an agreement was signed by former Ukrainian President Yanukovych and former Russian President right. Medvedev in April of 2010 to rebuild it. And now they're recreating the idea. We know what Russia wants to do with Crimea. What do Crimeans want? What do people in Crimea want? Well, it's a good question, and we don't exactly know uh, where they're going to go. They don't seem to want war. It's important. What, who is a Crimean is a really important. This we'll is answer a, that for This us. is a peninsula that has been horribly ethnically cleansed over the decades. So historically, it was really a, a Muslim area populated mainly by Tartars and a mix of other geographies. Uh, Stalin got rid Stalin, of them. Stalin forcibly removed about a million of the ethnic population of Crimea into Siberia in June 1944. Many of them died in the Way and yeah. replace them with Russians and Ukrainians. Force march. No, it was force yeah. march. It's ethnic cleansing. Uh, and so now it's a mix. The dominant population is Russians, but there's also Ukrainians, and there are also a number of Tartars who've been coming back from Siberia to try to reclaim what they think mm -hmm. is their homeland.